What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Darkest Dungeon. Now, I did mention we were going to play in this game, and thus we are. However, I will say before we start, uh, my recording software apparently doesn't register this game. So, I'm recording it in a very strange way. Hopefully nothing terrible will happen because of it, but... Ugh, who knows. Anyway, we're going to start off by watching the intro cinematic. Now, I'm not sure if the intro will play when we start the campaign, so we're going to do it now, and if it does, then we can just skip it. So, watch intro cinematic. And I will mute myself for this as well. Enjoy. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. And there we go. Interesting, Matty Dunn, we're only three minutes in. Excellent. So, let us begin. We'll do this one. Now, there are three different difficulties. There's actually four, but we don't have the Crimson Court DLC yet. I will get that later, but for now I want to avoid all the Crimson Court content. Uh, just because this is my first time going through the game. Now, I have watched a lot of Darkest Dungeon. In fact, I remember watching it when the game was first in development. So I do know what happens at the end and the story and the rest, but this is my first actual time playing the game. So we're going to be starting off on Radiant Mode. Now Darkest is your normal, as it says. I will never do Stygian. I don't plan on punishing myself for that. So yeah, we're going to start off on Radiant. And yeah, there's another cutscene that's about to play as well, if I'm not mistaken. So actually, before we do... Okay. Looks like, I thought you could name it. Maybe we'll name it in a second. But yeah, we're going to do it on Radiant. We will. Uh, let's just call it Darkest. Dungeon. Oh, that's nice. Well, dungeon. Yeah. Darkest Dungeon 1. Why not? And I also have a, have one mod installed at the moment. And that is a, a item stacking mod. Just to make the inventory management a bit easier. You'll see why when we get in. But yeah. So there we go. It's just inventory stacking. So, let us begin. Hopefully that inventory stacking mod doesn't break the game. I don't think it will, but you never know. Uh, there we go. Another cutscene just starting in a second, so... Yep, here we go. I don't think I'll need to mute it. I don't think I need to mute myself. Nah. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. 
There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. First time I actually see that cutscene all the way through. The old road. With the stagecoach, with the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you have to journey on f to the Hamilton foot. That was the caretaker you saw at the front. We'll see him in a bit. When we get to the hamlet, provided nothing terrible happens, which I don't think it will. Now, I'm really hoping nothing goes horribly wrong during these recordings. I'm really hoping so, but again, it should it should work out fine. I had to do the same thing with uh, the Binding of Isaac, actually. So, hopefully, nothing terrible will happen. Uh, is it loaded, or am I just, like, waiting? It appears to be taking its time. It's a bit unusual. Hopefully it didn't crash and burn. Hello. Oh, there we go. Something happened. There we go. Oh, that took a bit longer than I thought. And here we have our two first characters. Renault, the Crusader. Yep, I already know about that. And Dismas, the Highwayman. Got all their abilities down here. But let's just simply start. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. It's been a while since so I've had to use WASD to move. So, guess everyone's going forward. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, let's have a look. So he's got very low bleed resist. Let's just open vein on him. This'll do how much damage does it say? Uh 4 to 8 with a... how much chance to bleed? 100% chance to bleed for 2 rounds. Very nice, 8 damage, he's bleeding. 2 damage a round. But that is necessary because we're just going to finish him off with a smite. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And we get loot. Wonderful. Now you may have noticed, but the uh, wonderful voice actor there, his name is Wayne June. Yeah, yeah, interactables. Did a fantastic job when it came to uh, doing this game's voice acting for the ancestor. A handsome reward for a Later on, performed. these interactables will become much worse. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in And I mean places. much worse. An ambush. Mm. Send these vermin a message. I may turn these subtitles off at some point. And their oh, kind is no longer welcome. Or I could put them at the top, maybe, just to stop it blocking this. So we've got the Brigand Fusilier and the uh, Brigand Bloodletter. Big tough guy, guy with a shotgun. Let's see, how much damage does this do? Uh, he'll do 4 to 8. So we'll start off with that, doing a pistol shot on him. Point blank shot. Ooh, Ooh we dodged though, excellent. Apparently, that's why I want to get rid of him because he's got blanket fire. But apparently, during the uh, ooh, fifty percent stun resistance, we can try it. But apparently, during the beta and alpha of this game, uh, this encounter here was killing so many people because the blood letter is actually really strong. Will we get the stun? Ah, oh, we didn't. No matter. Uh, grip shot blast. Uh, we'll finish him off, so we'll just do... Oh, he dodged. Damn it. That sucks. Oh well. What's that debuff? Minus two speed. Just try and stun him. Oh, he resisted again. That's unfortunate. Still, apparently they've got terrible accuracy, which works out in our favour. A 78% chance to hit. Confidence yeah. Surges as the Good. Enemy crumbles. And they leave corpses behind. Which means that you have to kill them to move enemies. So, as you can see, there are multiple positions. You can up to four people. This guy takes up two. If that corpse was there, he would be behind him and we might not be able to hit him. 
In fact, we would, because these, as you can see, hit the... Uh, hit, they can't scroll to it, but they see they hit the first two. So it is important. Party positioning is very important. Yay, there we go. We got the stun at last. Now, we could just keep doing that, or we could start trying to smite him. Uh, what's this? Minus 80% damage. Really? Sure. Unless that was on him, but I'm not sure. I'm sure that's a target. Maybe it didn't affect him? I don't know. I think I may have misread that. Oh well. Oh, some stress damage. And he's bleeding. It's only one damage though. Let's just hurry up and beat this guy up. Yeah, stop complaining about the fact that you're bleeding out. Also shows his skills down there as well. I'm not sure if those skills... Uh, I wish I could, like, scroll over them. I'm shocked that I can't. Unless I'm on, like, the wrong screen or something. Maybe not. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. And we got a bunch of stuff. Got some medical herbs. They're not going to be very useful to us. Now, we don't want to return yet, because we actually want to try and grab this chest. It may not open... Uh, Bandit's trapped chest. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't open it. Did anyway. Oh, he's only got blighted. It's hardly a problem, because we're about to finish the quest now. Welcome home. Wonderful. Achievements. Got some nice gold. They've leveled up to level one. Ooh. So... Clutch hitter. Okay. Mm, that's okay. A minus one crit isn't bad. Nervous is, because stress is a big deal. So, ideally, I'd want to get that gotten rid of as soon as possible. Now, of the people I've watched who have played this game, uh, they often don't cure Welcome those home, sorts of things. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. Pray for the answer to finish speaking. And you are bound to them. Skatecker. So we have a bunch of quest goals, and we have a lot of them. This is going to take a while to do. So raise one of every class to level six. Okay, complete the final dungeon. So necromancer, necromancer, hag, bound, uh, pounder, swine king, formless flesh, siren, sunken crew, drowned crew, repel the brigand invasion, incursion even not invasion, and the darkest dungeon. It's going to be tricky, and it might take a long time. So, we've got a bunch of things here. We've got the graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. We'll probably end up with some people in there, which is going to be sad when it happens, but it will. In Ancestors' time, monument. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. Uh, I'm assuming these are all the. Uh, these are all the audio logs for each one of the people I think yeah these must be all the audio diaries for the uh, for the final um, bit so each different well each boss has their own three audio diaries to go with them and I'm guessing this is what they are so you can listen to them and we've got the stagecoach women and men soldiers and outlaws fools and corpses We'll probably we'll turn this off eventually. To us now that the road is clear. And our first two people are a Plague Doctor and a Vestal. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? Wonderful names. I may name them after subscribers, I don't know. We'll see. That's usually what happens. Now, we could upgrade. We've got some uh, things to upgrade with. Complete more quests to unlock. So we'll save them for now. Yeah, yeah, no, embarking. So let's go and do a quest. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. And we're off to... Um, I'm not sure. That's... The Ruins, okay. Which is skeletons, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the Ruins are all skeletons. The Wield is... Uh, blight and pigs, I think think? The Warrens? No, the Warrens are pigs. The Cove is, um, the Cove is sea monsters. So Cthulhu inspired. 
Hmm. Well, we, we're going to get all these. That trinket, though, isn't the most uh, impressive. In fact, what I should do, <laughs> the usual suspects, is look at the skills. So, our Plague Doctor has Plague Grenade, Blinding Gas, Incision, and Disorientating Blast. Okay, and our Vestal has Healing. Excellent. She prefers to be in position 2, though, however. It's probably because uh, she's got Mace Bash. So ideally I'd like to have something like uh, Dazzling Light, or even Illuminate, or Judgment. Something that puts her at the back lines, but we can't do anything about that until later. And yeah, these guys are happy where they are. So, in we go. Well, first off first. Preci provisions. Of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. So, we want uh, how many of these? Also, I'm not sure if there's a quick way to do this, like shift clicking. There is. Uh, I'm not sure how much food we want. We'll take three shovels, I think. Three bandages. Three anti venoms. Three of them. Two keys. Uh, we need two stacks of torches. Let's see. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that should be fine. Twelve should be fine. In fact, I might take. Is that too many? It is. I think I'll take that much food. It's only our first mission, so it shouldn't make too much of a difference, but you can never be too sure. And all the uh, stuff like the anti-venom and the uh, herbs, bandages, etc., all that can be used on items within the dungeon to... Actually, let me check something. Oh, you're a flagellant. That's not very good. Three of the Eldritch and... Hmm. Still, that's nice. Cove Scourer. And you were a Meditator and a Gambler. Funny. Gambler and a Flagellant. Which means they can only flagellate and they can't gamble. It's a bit of a... <laughs> a bit of a... Uh, what do you call it? Catch-22. Uh, Warrior of Light. Ooh. That means we've got to keep the uh, torchlight up. So let's begin our first foray into the dungeon. Uh, that's a torch. We'll grab it. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Now, what was our mission? Explore ninety percent of the rooms. Uh, Seventy light. What was you? Seventy-five. We we'll ought to do that. So, 8 and 8. There's no point in bleeding them because the skeletons, they don't bleed. With a grip shot blast, they're not very tough. We just pop them actually. Let's grip shot. Make them nice and squishy. Um, incision. Ah, I was hoping just for the damage really. That hurts a little bit. Let's cure it. And you can hit them with the Zealous Accusation, and that should finish them off, provided it hits. It did. Excellent. Destroy them uh, I don't think that it's unlocked, so we don't need a key for it. Got an extra shovel and a portrait. Very nice. Um, I've got to make sure I keep an eye on that. Ah. Rubble. Even the cold stone this is why uh, you need shovels. Passage. You don't have shovels, that can really mess you up. 77, 71, we'll pop a torch. Well, as soon as they finish their turn. Stressful incantation. We want to get rid of that. Uh, oh, really? I want to get rid of that cultist at the back. You can't do anything, so you're just going to do a party heal. Play grenade, yes, because they have low blight resist and bleed, but then again she's a cultist, not a skeleton. Oh, resisted, god damn it. Um, zealous accusations. Executed with Very nice. The crit also means it doesn't leave a corpse, which is really nice. Ooh, that's unpleasant though. Ideally I'd want to keep the stress levels low, because stress is terrible. Um, 
sure. Oh, really? No, she hasn't even got very good stun resistance, but she's surviving, unfortunately. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Uh, focused heal on Dismus. Ideally, I want to keep Dismus and Renault alive. Oh, that's Renault. Dismus is the uh, highwayman. But I want to keep these two alive because there is an achievement to taking Renault and Dismus into the final dungeon. So I do want that achievement. Oh, really? Come on. Come on, Dismus. What's wrong? It's just shameful. <laughs> yeah, heal up the enemy. That's what we want, isn't it? Uh, do that. Give them no quarter. Excellent. Pop the torch. Got plenty of them. Now, which way do we want to go? Okay, so... Curio treasure. Hmm. We'll go up, across, down, and back up again. Oh, there's a curio there as well. Maybe we'll just do like a full loop. It might not be the smartest move to do. Sure, but we'll do it. Um, these ones are safe to open. Ah, trap chest. Well, a locked chest even. Hey, we surprised them. Excellent. That means we get to go first. So what do we want? You see, accuracy 75, damage... Oh, I get it. Damage minus 80%. That means it doesn't do much damage. I get it. We want to get rid of the Cultist Brawler. Now, ideally, the one at the back is the one you want to focus, but he's pretty dangerous. He will give us lots of bleed, and I'd like to not bleed. But we do have bandages, so I should use them. Um... Well, that, it could do. It did. As the enemy Beautiful crit there. Uh, sorry, I'm taking blast. Stun. Excellent. Finally. Bone soldier's still gonna hit us, sadly. But nothing we can do about that. <laughs> of course, she gets to go first again. Um, you can disorientate blast him. It worked. Shuffle isn't great, but they're already in position too, so that doesn't really matter. Open vein. Uh, heal up our Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor took a fairly unfortunate hit. Use Alice Accusation. That one's stunned, so it can't do anything. Grape Shot Blast. Ah, it dodged. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Uh, can you hit it with incision? You can. Excellent. More stuff. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a the slow and insidious, insidious killer. killer. Uh, we want to use a key on this. Yoink. Not the most valuable stuff in there, to be sure, but it's something. Now there's a trap coming up as well, so we want to make sure we have Dismas ready for that. There it is. So let's see, 60, 90, 60, 50. Excellent. There are certain classes that have different trap resistance. In fact, it's there. Is that it? Yeah. Also, I need to make sure I keep up my light. Later on, uh, we'll probably end up doing some dark runs, however much I fear doing such things. And dark runs are basically where you go in there with no light and you just go for it, basically. To just get lots of loot. Oh, he failed. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Oh well, it happens. A font. I haven't seen that one before. Which makes me slightly nervous. Uh, we could play grenade. Sure, he's only got 10% blight resist. It's weird why skeletons are like really weak to, well, really strong into bleed, which makes sense, but really weak to blight, even though they're only skeletons. It's kind of weird, that. Celis Accusation, I'm pretty sure that does, does that do extra bonus against Unholy? I know our Smite does. Um, you know what, just Smite. Truly really hoping for a kill to start off with, but Grape Shot Blast. Excellent. 
He's bleeding out. Quarrel. Ooh. Stings a little. Oh, great. Yeah, focus my plague, Doctor. On Baldry. Baldry. What a name. Plague grenade. She's got eight rounds of bleed. That means it's dead now. Um. Yeah, use incision. Well, it's not incision. It's uh, open vein. Graveyard slash. Ah, it hurts so much. The slow death. Unforeseen. There we go. Unforgiving. Now I'm not sure what this fountain is. As I said, I haven't seen it before. Success so clearly in view. We'll use it on the plague doctor. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Oh, got some gold. I thought that would do a stress heal, to be fair. Um, you know, we'll just ignore that curio and we'll just head back. After all, we've only got a few minutes left, and who knows how long it'll take to get to these last two runes. Runes? Runes. I'm gonna take a drink. Hmm. Stale water. Really should have changed that. I'll take that. Got food. In fact, you know, let's use some of it. Uh, how do we do it? There we go. We've got plenty of it. And if we don't eat it, it's only going to come back as a bit of gold. Like five gold or something. Oh dear, I'm forgetting about the torch. I need to stop doing that. Well, hunger. It's also why you want to take food and be careful when you're using it. Because if you don't have food, then your members go hungry. And you don't want them going hungry. Ooh. What's that? That's a obstacle. That means a shovel. I'd really like to find something to interact with. Open that up. The match is struck. A blazing star is. I've right, got one more thing. It's unfortunate. I need to get rid of him soon. The bone courtier. Um, good grape shot. Uh, let's do it on that guy because he's a bit tankier. Now oh, we actually got the uh, debuff off. Uh, yeah, that's fine because it'll hit both of them. Ooh, and a crit. So he's bleeding for four. He's bleeding, well, blighted for four. Next blade. Ooh, good dodge. You can see all the stats for our guys down here. Uh, heal up uh, Dismas. Uh, you know what? You just go for the big swing. I was considering using Zealous Accusation and we may use it next time. Ah, Tempting Goblet. We should be okay though, the stress buildup isn't too vicious at the moment. Still, it's unpleasant. Need to get these guys lighted up some more. Ah, quarrel. Fortunately, damage doesn't persist over uh, when you go back to the hamlet. So, the damage will be healed up. It's, again, mostly the stress we want to take care of. And also to make sure our people don't die. That's also important. Slowly. He's bled out. Oh, he's blighted out, I guess. Life is taken. And that should be them done. Uh, sure, grip shot. Take all. A trifling victory. Um, but a victory nonetheless. We'll, we'll just get rid of that torch as soon as he's finished talking. Uh, shift click to discard. Take the busts. We'll crack this open with a key. More busts. We do need the busts. Busts are very important. So we'll just sack the torches. And then we go back to the hamlet. And that's our first explosion done. Fairly nice, fairly easy, nothing too terrible. It is the first one. It is radiant mode, which does give us an advantage. Got nearly 5,000 gold. Got eight busts, two portraits, and 12 uh, crests. People leveled up as well. New virtues, hopefully. Ugh. None cheat. Why? So you can only flagellate even though you're a gambler. Speaking of gambler. Uh, experience of religious visions and delusions. Don't know what that does. 
I'm guessing that just gives us negatives towards uh, the party. So we want to get them sorted out. Hopefully quickly. All the decadent horrors yeah. I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. That's not quite what he said, but sure. The tavern is unlocked and the abbey is unlocked. Excellent. Apparently graveyard? No, it must have been the, uh, the abbey. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Right, we'll, we can upgrade it. We're going to serve off for that for now. Fresh kegs, <laughs> cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the The caretaker was a bit annoying because he likes to jump into places and take them up, which means he's obviously taking up a spot. So unless we upgrade that, no one can drink. But we're going to end this part. We're going to recruit some new heroes. Uh, man at arms, sure. Grave robber, sure. Spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. And we're going to end it there for the first part. So I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.